until close to midnight and initiated, initialed the agreement that was to be lodged in court. Mine is to bring to your attention the details of what the county governments had agreed uh, so that the public is aware. And as you have heard, all the issues that had been raised that were relating to county governments had been agreed on and signed off. The agreed upon position inter alia provides as follows. Number one, on medical insurance, it was agreed that county governments that had not provided medical cover to the doctors to commence the process of acquiring the medical cover forthwith. Number two, on release of doctors on postgraduate study, that counties to continue releasing doctors for postgraduate studies based on county needs and the longevity of service. Three, on employment of doctors, that county governments would recruit doctors on, av avail on availability of resources as informed by the staff establishment. Four, on the issue of car loan and mortgages for doctors, albeit reluctantly, because this to county governments was not our priority at this time when we have financial constraints, the county governments agreed to engage the national treasury in the next six months for seed funding to enable county governments to set up the scheme for the doctors. Number five, on new collective bargaining agreement that the council of governors will initiate and coordinate the process of negotiating a new CBA with every county government within 30 days from the date of execution of the return to work formula. And six, on basic salary arrears, the county governments shall make payments of the basic pay salary arrears accrued to the doctors as contained in the CBA 2017-2021 upon receipt of a conditional grant from the National Treasury. The payment shall be made in a phased manner over a period of five years. Further, that resources for sustainability shall be provided by the National Treasury and payment by county governments shall be subject to the National Treasury providing the resources. It was further agreed that the union shall immediately call off the strike and the union members participating in the strike arising from the strike notice dated 6 March 2024 shall immediately return to work but not later than within 24 hours of executing this deed. This agreement was initialized and was to be adopted as consent to be filed in court. The parties were to sign the deed yesterday, 22nd April 2024, at a meeting scheduled for 2 p.m. However, we waited patiently and were informed that the union leaders were held up in a meeting to deliberate the matter. It is most unfortunate that the doctors have deliberately refused and ignored or disregarded the courtesies extended to them. The doctors are therefore insensitive to the suffering and plight of the vulnerable Kenyans in dire need of health services. We wish to reiterate that all county-specific issues as raised by the union were adequately agreed upon. This is therefore simply unacceptable and have left the government, the, the county governments and respective employers to deal with this long unwarranted strike as they deem fit within the HR policies and practices. We therefore advise all county governments to take appropriate and necessary action 